Hey, it's Richard with Presonus, and I want to talk about some of the basic editing functions within Capture, which is a free application designed exclusively for Presonus Studio Live Mixers. Today, we'll look at a few things you can do to work on your arrangements within the app before exporting them to a digital audio workstation. Let's begin. Here's an open session, and you can see that I've got all my tracks recorded. I can zoom in and out, both vertically and horizontally, and if my sync tool is off, I can rearrange my track order, otherwise it stays locked to the order on my mixer. Over on the top right side of my window, the first tool is the arrow tool. I can use it to select tracks, trim them to length, or move them around. Next is the range tool. I can use it to select a certain part of one or several tracks, and when I float the mouse over the selected range, Capture turns the icon into the arrow tool and I can move the entire selection. Next up is the split tool, and it does just what the name implies, allowing me to split audio regions. And lastly is the eraser tool. I can use it to delete one or more audio regions. And of course, I can cut, copy, and paste regions using the standard command or control key combinations on my Mac or PC. One of the quickest ways to get a recording down is with a Persona Studio Live Mixer and Capture. Add in the ability to do some basic editing, and it's a surefire bet that Presonus gives you the tools you need and want for your live shows and recordings. For more information, go to presonus.com or check us out on YouTube. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.